Hello, my name is Mark Roy and I'm with Somebody Cares International. I'm very honored to be able to come to you today and on behalf of Doug Stringer and the Somebody Cares Network, uh, just to share with you uh, a fresh perspective of the work and the need that is found in the Philippines after Typhoon Yolanda. Um, for the past eight years in the Somebody Cares Network, which is just a collaboration of ministries and churches that come together in time of need, uh, we have been involved in every major storm that's taken place in the United States, whether it be tornadoes that rip through Oklahoma or Alabama or Joplin, or whether it be hurricanes that come along the Gulf Coast. Uh, even last year, working up with Hurricane Sandy that hit the New York area. We've seen many different forms of disaster. But you know, after my visit last week to the Philippines, I can honestly sit here today and say to you that I have never seen a storm of this magnitude ever in the history of what my experience has been. And, and even what I'm hearing from media, this is the strongest storm on record that we have ever seen. With over 195 miles an hour and, and surges of 25 uh, to 30 feet of storms breaking in on the coast in the Philippines. The destruction is just amazing. You know, when disaster happens, it hits the news. It's a big news item. All the networks are following it. There's news reporters. There's, in a, in a global disaster like this, there's a lot of attention that goes on. But usually the way it is with most media outlets, as soon as it goes off the front pages that people forget. We are here today to remind you about the work and the opportunity that we have to help the people in the Philippines. There is so much need that is there. Again, as it's a historical storm, I believe in a world perspective, it's such a huge, massive amount of destruction that was there. Over 6,000 people lost their lives. 1,200 people are still missing. Over 27,000 people were uh, injured in this, this storm. And I can honestly say, just from the people that we talked with on the ground there, there's many, many more that will never be found. From us going there last week and seeing firsthand what was going on, there were many great organizations. There's a lot of large, big organizations that are, that are international that are there. Uh, and there are a lot of times the people that get the most attention. And we are a little bit different in that what we believe is that it's when a lot of the smaller organizations that come together, we don't come to replace the local people. We come to work alongside the local people and that's really what Somebody Cares really is all about. It's about people coming together. You may not think you have a lot, but yet when we come together and everyone brings their part together, great things can be done. We have seen that take place over and over and over again. So the, just by way of just bringing you into the reality of this, we want to ask you to partner with us. Would you bring your part with ours as we work with many different on the ground organizations that are there? organizations that are invested out in village churches, organizations that are, that are invested in city centers, organizations that are built in working with orphanages and working in education and working in the medical field. On behalf of Doug Stringer and Somebody Cares International, we are thankful for all our partners that have partnered with us thus far. We're thankful for Mercury One. We're thankful for individuals. We're thankful for other churches, organizations, and businesses that have given into the first phase of relief of what we've tried to do with local partners in the Philippines. So if you would like to partner with us, you can go to somebodycares.org. There you will find the information where you can give via check or you can give securely on our website. You know, together, we can work together and we can do good for our fellow man. So we pray that you'll partner with us at Somebody Cares International as that we're doing our best to present the love of God to people in a time of need.